a welcome back on the 10th Global Money Week, a host from the 21st of March to the 27th with the theme, Build Your Future, Be Smart About Money. <laughs> we'll find out how to be smart about money this morning. With Junior Achievement, Nigeria has always been interested in financial literacy. So now we have the Executive Director for Lucia Badamosi to tell us how to be smart with money and uh, why they're so concerned about financial. Hello, Felicia. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. So, so we celebrate this uh, every year in Nigeria. Are we making progress when we talk about financial literacy? Yes. So thank you so much for having me. And yes, we do celebrate this, not just in Nigeria, but actually all over the world. So Global Money Week is celebrated worldwide and the focus is on youth because obviously, you know, targeting them young is extremely important. Now, with regards to progress, yes, I believe that we're making progress in Nigeria. Um, the strides of progress that we're making have been shown in some surveys. So for instance, there was a 2015 um, survey by PwC that says that financial illiteracy is 31.1% in urban areas areas and 68.5% in rural areas. Now, what we have to understand about those kinds of statistics is that we have a lot of youth who, you know, have never been enrolled in schools or who have been enrolled in schools and are not being taught financial education. And so this is where organizations like Junior Achievement come in, where we have interventions, you know, where we have programs that focus on teaching the youth about financial literacy. And this youth are usually youth in underserved communities, you know, in low in low income communities and things of that nature. We also have been running this program for quite a while. And our 2021 impact report shows that in the last five years, we have actually reached about 300,000 students and 95% of them acknowledge that they will open up a bank account in the future you know, just to engage in behaviors that will help them make better financial decisions. So they were actually able to learn about the importance of making good financial decisions. So I do think that we're making progress. Measure that pro progress by uh, the level of our financial inclusion. I'm sorry, say that again. Uh, can we measure that progress you're talking about by the level of financial inclusion in the country? I mean, financial inclusion is uh, one thing we've been talking about with fintechs and, you know, the new ways of yes. uh, getting into the system. Can we measure it by the level yes. of our financial inclusion? Yes, yes, actually, we, we um, can. So, I mean, one of the real leading forces affecting people's ability to even access financial services, aka financial inclusion, is, you know, rural areas and a lot of the issues that we have with, you know, just the gap and the economic gap which actually causes that. So there was a report by Oxfam um, that shows that Nigeria actually has a pretty low financial inclusion gap of 40.1% compared to, like, South Africa, who has 11%. And this is because of lack of financial literacy so you know financial inclusion and financial literacy go hand in hand you know you cannot be um included in anything that has to do with finances if you don't even have the understanding the education the ability to even understand what it's all about so we believe at junior achievement nigeria that with the right financial education it actually encourages more people especially the youth you know to plan their financial journey which obviously will then lead to financial inclusion so for instance tomorrow uh, march 24th is financial literacy day we're so excited. We go to classrooms in different schools all over the country, and we teach them the importance of money. We emphasize the importance of being financial, financially literate through information, skills, attitudes, behaviors. You know, just keeping in mind that financial literacy is not just about the skill, but it's also about the behavior and the attitudes as well. And so we're going to be doing that all day tomorrow um, in different schools all over the country. Um, there's a World Bank report in 2018 that actually states that 1.7 billion people around the world um, lack a bank account. And most of these people are, you know, those in rural areas and actually women. So more of women and people that have... Um, that don't really have much income. And so that's why we spend so much time focusing on the population that is more marginalized, right? So the ones that have less exposure to um, financial literacy. So tell us about this theme. What does it mean to be smart with money? I want to be smart with money. <laughs> don't we all want to be smart with money? Don't we all? So to I know, right? <laughs> So it actually means a lot of things, right? It means a lot of things. But this year's theme is build your future, be smart about money. And it just 
captures the importance of thinking about our future when we're making financial decisions. And this goes for us, right, as well, adults. It's not just for the youth, because ultimately, you know, your future and how you spend your money now are very much connected. So we're encouraging the young people to be forward thinking and futuristic when it comes to their finances, right? So to realize that there's actually a connection between how you are spending your money today and what happens with you in the future. Um, we have seen a lot of surveys and research that has shown that there's actually a huge relationship between financial literacy and poverty reduction. So if we're able to increase financial literacy awareness, it will go a long way in reducing poverty levels amongst rural people especially. And this is why we believe that teaching young people to be smart about money from a young age really helps them avoid some of those economic setbacks that happen in the future because they start to understand that this is actually tied to their future. It's not just about spending money here, spending money now, you know, enjoying my life. It's also about planning towards the future. Yeah, and Junior Achievement Nigeria is partnering Bankers Committee. Uh, what interests do you have? What do you hope to achieve with this partnership? Okay, so we've had this partnership with Bankers Committee now for several years, and it's a really amazing um, partnership because obviously Bankers Committee is all about financial inclusion and financial literacy because of the mm -hmm. kind of work that they do. Um, at Junior Achievement Nigeria, one of our core pillars is financial literacy. So we, so we have other ones. We have entrepreneurship, work readiness, and digital literacy. Essentially, we partner with them so that we can work together towards teaching the young people about being smart with money, you know, learning financial literacy skills, raising conscientious business leaders, raising people that, you know, are more intentional about finances in general. Because one huge thing that we have discovered, and not just in Nigeria, all over the world, is that so many people claim that they were not taught properly about finances and how that actually affects their future. So the partnership with Bankers Committee does that. And you know, recently, um, Junior Achievement Worldwide was actually nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize in recognition for the world that we do all around the world, you know, helping young people. So part of us serving as a conduit for peace and prosperity is also us being intentional about teaching young people about financial literacy. Because ultimately, if you are responsible with your finances, if you learn about these things from a young age, it does help you be more responsible in the future. And that does promote peace in the nations that we live in. Yeah, thank you so much, Felicia. Uh, I wish you all the best as you go out tomorrow. I'm, I really like this year's theme, you know, being smart about money. I think it's, it's very important for everybody to be smart, to be smart about money. Thank you so it much. Really Enjoy, the rest of, Enjoy the rest of your day and wish you all the best as you go out tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. So we'll take a break now. After the break, we'll do Apex Commodities Market. Do stay with us.